everyone, it's Michelle Barada and welcome to Bella Branch TV. Today I have a really cute DIY that I know you're gonna love. It's this adorable necklace that I made and it's like bunting. Bunting like when you put little words or like happy birthday at a birthday party. Look how cute it is and it's made with leather and paint and scraps of silk. Look at that, look how cute it is. Your mind's gonna go wild with this one. It's so easy to do. You're gonna wanna make earrings, all kinds of things to match. So you guys ready? So let's get started. Here are the supplies you'll need to make your beautiful necklace. First you're gonna take a piece of your leather scraps and you're gonna cut out triangles, whatever size you want. Now I make a strip about, I don't know, it's about an inch high, and then I start just cutting randomly back and forth the triangles. And you want 10 triangles. After you cut your triangles, you're gonna start painting them. And you're gonna just kinda lay it out and decide what colors that you want and what resonates with you. It's really about your style. You can mix colors. See, I kind of mixed some red and some some white and kind of made a little more mauvey color. Here's more of a reddish rosy color. I did gold and on one of them I just kept it black, took a thin brush and painted white stripes on it. That one looks really cool. Next you're going to take your chain, you're going to decide what length you want. I did about a 20 inch length and then I made it adjustable at the end. You're going to find the center, you're going to put the center, lay it down on your paper, and I'd say put it on paper because you're going to use glue now and you don't want it to stick to your table. Now take your E6000 glue, after you've lined up all your little flags in the arrangement that you want, put some E6000 glue right on the edge and then you're going to want to put the cap on immediately after because the glue always kind of seeps out. Then you're going to take the chain you're going to place it right on top of the flag and you can use a little leather scrap to kind of push it down uh, on there to make it more secure or your finger. Then you're just going to go along with each flag. And when you put your next flag on, you're going to leave about one chain link space so that afterwards you're going to, it's going to look like you have little jump rings in between your flags. See, and I used a scrap to push down the chain to make it more secure. And then you're just going to do this along all the flags until you have all ten flags on your cute little necklace. After you finish gluing all your flags, you're going to flip it over and now you're going to add some silk ribbon or silk scraps. And they're about three to four inches long and then you can trim them after you've attached them to the chain. So I fold it in half and then I kind of loop it and pull the two ends through. And then I do the same for the other piece. Then you can trim the pieces of ribbon to whatever length you want. Now you're going to add your jump rings and clasp so that you can close your necklace. So first you're going to take a large jump ring and you're going to open it side to side and add the clasp onto it. You're going to then put it onto the end of the chain and then close it up. And then you're going to open up another large jump ring on the other side and then that's the place that you're going to be able to hook your clasp to. Remember, close it side to side. Never open it up like a claw. You'll never get it back together. Look how great that turned out. I hope you love this video. I know I had fun making it. And please subscribe and comment below and tell me how much you loved it and if there's any other things you want to watch on my channel. Until next time, bye!